1994, John Bon Jovi sang that he was feeling like a Monday, but someday I'll be Saturday night. Don't disrespect Mondays, John. Mondays matter right here on Gary's Stuff. Hi there, I'm Gary. Welcome to my channel and welcome back. If you've been here before, today indeed is Monday Matters. As usual, I'll have a quick look at the news of the week. I'll have a look at what I've been up to on my bench and I'll be announcing the kit of the week. Now, all these bits come as chapters in hop, buttons of forwards, as your heart desires. If you like the show, and I hope you do, please remember, Imperial thumbs up on the like button below. If you haven't done so yet, please do subscribe to the channel, hit that bell, and you'll be notified of all my future videos as they turn up. And of course, if you'd like to support the channel in a more concrete way, you can do that through Super Thanks by becoming a channel member or by joining any of my online partner programs. Okay, let's, uh, before I get go any further with the news of the week, just wanted to um, thank everyone who tuned into the live stream on Thursday night. I had a great time. I made a tiny bit more progress on a kit than I did the last time. The, last, the first time I had a um, FX Mitsubishi Zero and I did precisely nothing. This time I had a TIE Fighter, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Um, it was May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. And I managed to paint Darth and do a bit of dry brushing and put him on a chair and that was essentially it. So it really didn't get very far. I think in future... Um, live streams I'll just be getting on with whatever I happen to have around rather than have a project rather than have a this is what I'm going to do maybe I don't know I'll have a a figure to paint now, this is a one thirty second scale figure I had to paint maybe I'll do something like that I'll, I'll do whatever happens to be sitting there <laughs> that I need to do because do you know what there was so much chatter so much uh back and forth a lot of questions a lot of great comments from everyone watching um the two hours just flew by, frankly, and I didn't achieve much other than I hope entertaining a lot of people. Uh, the, according to the the analytics, there were I don't remember, one and a half thousand or so people tuned in altogether. At any given time, there was there was an average of ninety something people logged in at any given moment over the two hours. So that's an incredible response. Thank you all so very much. If you've got any ideas about things you might like to see in future live streams that are achievable, legal, and something to do with modeling, let me know. Let me know. Um, I've had a great week of stuff being delivered to me. I've had uh, three kits delivered from Dane Stewart. Thank you so much, Dane. Um, they are a Mitsubishi Zero, 172nd Mitsubishi Zero from Hasegawa. Um, which would be really interesting to compare that with the Airfix one I've already got. There's a 148 scale BF109 from ICM. Wanted to make a BF109 for the channel in 148, so that was lucky. That came up. And my favourite of all, the Kyushu Shinden um, canard fighter from the end of the war from Japan. Again, 148 from Hasegawa, I believe. Um, all of these amazing kits. Um, then... Mark Saunders sent me a, an egg plane kit of the SR-71, which is fantastic because, as you know, I love egg planes. And also, two vintage classics turned up that I'd ordered, the Commonwealth Boomerang and the Beagle Bassett. So, lots of new kits for the channel. Fantastic. Those of you who sent me stuff, absolutely marvellous. Thank you so much. The other thing Dane sent me was a bottle of the AK... Um, transparent parts solution like a pva glue for transparent parts so um yeah maybe i'll be doing some different videos about that i'll chat about that later on how about that so for the moment then thank you all again for sending stuff thank you also very very much for tuning into the live stream and thank you all of you who can contribute in any way that you do to this channel it really is completely wonderful and very very much appreciated so enough of all of that let's get on with the news of the week so 
over at KP, there's a new tuning of the AEG C4 reconnaissance aircraft from World War I in 172nd scale. As usual, there are some scheme options too. There's also a new box of the LVG C6 kit featuring schemes from the Polish Air Force of 1920. One of these is a natty lozenge scheme for which KP has produced a decal set for upper and lower surface markings. KP has also expanded its range of the Let 60 Brigadier in both military and civilian uses. And there's another e-box of their very popular Scottish Aviation Bulldog with decals for the iconic RAF scheme, a UK civilian aircraft and one from Hungary. Aerotech has released a new box of their resin kit of the de Havilland DH-88 Comet Racer in 1 32nd scale. This joins two previous releases of this iconic aircraft, which produce incredibly well detailed kits suited perhaps to the more expert model maker. First to Fight has released its 100th kit in the series of 172nd scale armour and other military items from the start of World War II with this TKD self propelled gun. Now, all of these kits are simple to make but really well detailed and at under £10 each could easily be a great way into the hobby for someone who's not perhaps interested in the usual start affair of Shermans and Tigers. Somewhat larger are these new part releases of the Panther A in 135th scale from TACOM. Based on their 2018 tooling, this kit does away with the interior details and has Lincoln length tracks instead of for the individual links so it's a much more affordable and a lot less intimidating than some of TACOM's range of armour, whilst still maintaining their gorgeous exterior detail. Mars has released a set of Ukrainian fighters in 172nd scale, five figures in each of eight different poses, to add to your modern day diorama. On the Weirdometer this week is this caricature of Michael Jordan from Dogfight Workshop. Dogfight is better known for its 3D printed vehicle kits, such as these new 148 scale SAS Jeeps, but they've decided to also go down the celebrity parody road. Well, best of luck to them, I say. And finally for today, Lone Star Models has this kit of the Mitsubishi G3M Nell in 148 scale. Now it's a kit of vac form, resin and white metal parts. Its significance is that it's a new decal reissue of a Costa Era Enterprises kit of 2006 as a tribute to the late Bill Costa who passed away in 2020. Bill was of course one of the most prolific designers in Revlon Monogram and who once he retired set up Costa Aero Enterprises. So on my bench this week, I have, of course, had this, the Bristol Blenheim Mark 4F in 172nd from Airfix. It's very, very, very nearly complete. The build video of that will be popping up in the next day or two, I would imagine. A few family issues to deal with, delayed things, but it's very nearly done. Also this week, I've done a couple of videos on some offers over the weekend. There was, of course, the Airfix Coronation Flypass bundle of 20 some kits for 250 pounds, like all nine red arrows, uh, six F-35Bs, six Eurofighter Typhoons, and the Battle of Britain Memorial flight of the Lancaster and two Spitfires, none of which flew in the fly past, apart from, of course, the red arrows, which is very sad for everyone. Maybe they may pimp up the uh, fly past after the King's birthday parade in June to make up for it. Also this week, I did a video on the Ryfields Models um, offer in America from Sprue Brothers Models. Now, a lot of people say, well, why are you bothering to do that? Well, do you know what? YouTube is a global thing. So there's offers in America. I'll highlight offers in America. There's offers over in the UK. I'll highlight them. If there's offers with a global company, I'll highlight them. You know, I just want to spread the word generally amongst the aviation modeling and tank modelling and ship modelling and everything else modelling communities about what's out there. Um, 
I kind of would like to start making this a bit more of an informational place rather than just making models. I'll continue to do that, of course, but also bring a bit more information about the, the market in general, the, what people are doing, what people are selling, um, a bit like Monday Matters, but more extended across several days of the week. If there's anything you'd like to see, please let me know. Um, I'm thinking of doing a video about uh, types of glue that you use to make plastic kits. Uh, maybe one on the types of glue you can use for transparent parts, which is a whole different thing. Uh, maybe about uh, filling, you know, uh, gap filling and things like that. All sorts of different videos in the pipeline, um, techniques, hints and tips, videos. If there's anything you'd like to see, let me know. Drop me a, a note in the information box, you know, the comment boxes below, and I'll have a look at it. And, but I'll still be making stuff. I will still be making stuff, which, of course, brings me to announcing this week's... Kit of the week, and this week it is going to be the P47D Thunderbolt in 148 scale, uh, Gabby Gabreski's plane from Academy. Now, this kit will be made over two weeks, so over that time there will be the box opening video, there will be a historical video, so that'll be the history of the aircraft and the history of the kit and what other kits of the P-47 are available. And of course, there'll be a build video. Now, they won't all be in this one week. I want to take time to make sure this kit looks really good, do a lovely paint job, do a bit more weathering, maybe panel lining and weathering and things like that. So a lot more production will be going into them. So don't worry about missing out on anything like that. Okay. Um, I also have some other kits I'm in the middle of building um, that will slowly be released as we go along so it's trust me it's non-stop over here at gary's stuff if you've enjoyed the show please do remember imperial thumbs up on the like button below and if you haven't done so yet please do subscribe to the channel hit that bell and you'll see when all my videos are released on this channel thank you so very much for watching and i hope to see you again soon goodbye <music>